Good afternoon, everybody. This is Tim Ewart Coleman coming to you today from NOH Architects, where I want to speak about technology um, and appropriate technology. One of my favorite subjects is, is what is the most appropriate level of technology that we can employ. Um, and there's a lot of talk. Um, you hear people going on quite a lot about the very, very exciting development of the Internet of Things. Um, and when people break it down, they say, well, you can, you can use it to um, uh, program something to switch things on and off when you're not at home. Um, uh, and I'm sure there's a whole lot of other much, much, much more clever um, applications for the Internet of Things. Um, but I wouldn't want that to confuse us about um, how simple it is to to do some of the um, ordinary level functions. And I just want to talk to you today about a um, a product that's been on the market uh, for years and years and years and years. It's a 24-hour programmable timer. These come in different shapes and forms. This is one by by a company called Major Tech. It's a um, it's a MTD3 uh, daily timer. It comes uh, um, in a uh, in a package like this. Um, costs around uh, 200 rand. What is that? 15 US dollars. Um, so one of these standard packs. Take it out like this, and um, immediately what? What strikes you is uh, that there's no LCD display, there's no um, keypad to program it, and uh, many of us that were um, brought up with computers will say, programmable, how the hell can you program something that hasn't got an input, we can't plug it in, there's no USB port, there's no, there's no wireless, there's no Bluetooth. Okay, so it does mean that you've got to read the instructions and you've got to uh, figure out how to program it. First of all, of course, uh, we're in South Africa for those of you that are watching elsewhere, so we've got a standard South African plug. You don't get anywhere else in the world. Um, so what we do, first of all, plug it into a power supply. Now, whichever device that you're wanting to, uh, to power, you obviously plug in here. What I use it for is for pumping, for irrigation, pumping out of a fish pond or a dam, whatever the case may be. You may use it to um, switch lights on and off, or to um, switch an air conditioner on and off, or a stove. Um, who knows? I, I can't even think of all the possible applications. But basically, quite simply, if you can see inside there, there's a little switch. Um, and there are little, um, there are little 15 minute, um, notches. What, what would you call them? In the diagram they call them, they explain how to program, and they say, they call them joint slices. So each joint slice is the equivalent of 15 minutes. So this dial in the center here, you use Right now it's three o'clock in the afternoon, so you can twist this to make it easier for you, but you don't have to. If that arrow is now pointing to 15, it means it's 1500. So let's say we want this device to go on at um, 1700. So we knock down two of those slices. Okay, that's just before. Let's make it 1700, one of them at 1700. So you want the pump to run for a half an hour. Let's make it two hours. So two hours is four of these slices. So that'll this dial then turns as it's powered now. The dial turns, and by the time it gets to that point there, you can see it'll switch very simply. It switches this on. Here it's got an override switch. So if you want to switch it on, you can switch it on. And there you'll see now this overrides the timer. So you see that red light comes on, it means there's power moving through to your device. But if you leave it on timer, you'll see that this thing clicks. 
every 15 minutes it just goes click um, and then when it comes to those four um, there it will switch on and your pump will run for two hours and you may decide that you want the pump to run again at 11 o'clock tonight 2300 hours so you'll flick these down one okay there's two three four okay there the pump runs twice but you can see there's any manner of ups and downs you can set it on and off on and off for a 15 minute cycle i mean the the minimum you can get it down to is 15 minutes on 15 minutes off that's the way it works so yeah very simple very low technology that we can use in any application in any building um you know how much i love buildings and the things that go on in buildings um, and in and around buildings in the garden and this is a very simple piece of technology that we can all employ um, you can buy them online anywhere there's hundreds of different brands making them this one is major tech www.major-tech.com and it's a um, very simple way um, of, of getting um, electrical fittings to switch on and switch off automatically as if though there was the internet of things um, anyhow 24 hour programmable timer get yourself one play around with us and um, make your life a little bit easier a little bit more automated this is Tim Hewitt Coleman um, signing off for NOH Architects out